Okay, so here we are. Um, back at Guild Wars. I think I'm attacking early this time, so that's why we're not like getting stomped on. Um, I don't know if we are going to get stomped on, though. Yeah, we're pretty low. I think <clears throat> we lost the last one, which was pretty close, I think. Um, so we're probably going to win this one, which will it's not that bad. Um, so yeah, let's go take a look at our defense, see how we did. Uh, I, I, I keep forgetting to change this. I have to go in and change this before next time. Um, because you can, like I said, you can just violate this and then you're basically done. Um, but yeah. Let's see how we lost here. So somehow... <laughs> I don't know how. Somehow... Uh, we, I mean, we lost, right? But we, we somehow beat Violet. Because that one guy brought in Violet by himself that one time. Uh, and he just, like, 1v3'd us. Like, <laughs> that was it. Um, but somehow they lost Violet and they lost... Uh, her, which is pretty surprising. Yeah, I have no idea what went, out, went on here. Um, I think who I probably should bring into this is... Um, when, when I get her ready, she'll probably be ready at some point. After this whole hunt event, I'm just going to dump all my materials into trying to find a um, lifesteal set for um, Fire Charlotte. And that's probably who's going to be here. I don't know who... I, I probably shouldn't keep him here, but I'll see what, where, where that goes. Uh, but yeah, that, that'll probably be the three: Violet, Charlotte, and and um, Rem is gonna be who is gonna be here. Um, <clears throat> of course, Landy kind of worked out here because she doesn't trigger her and she doesn't trigger him, and she's just gonna die. Down here, we won against this team, and he ducked out because he didn't want to lose him. So I guess one of these two went first, uh, but they couldn't deal with the damage coming out of Landy. Um, like he probably, I don't know, I have no idea, but that's kind of weird. Because he probably took two S3s, right? But, like, maybe one landed and one didn't. Or maybe they both landed on or something. And then he probably had his invincibility, so that's probably just why he survived. Um, or he probably just left before he died anyway. Um, let's see. So we'll attack uh, towers, just because why not? I've been kind of greedy lately and like, uh, toppling towers. Or toppling um, other, like, smaller towers. So let's let's... Help bring this one down a bit, and um, yeah, let's help bring this one down a bit, and, and get them there. So we're gonna bring. I think yeah, I think I'm just gonna bring. Um, we'll go double crow. <sighs> Can't believe I just said those words. Um, but yeah, we're gonna go double crow down here, and I'm probably just gonna go with um, where is I'm looking for? Here you are, somewhere. Yeah, here you are. We're gonna go double crow with moon, moon haste. Oh, he's up here. Instead of the instead of the crow, I could probably bring someone like um, like my own ram to deal with that. Should I just? Uh, What if I tried this? Hmm. This doesn't look too bad. Our first target needs to be her. And I'm gonna take her out. We're gonna leave her till the end because she'll be reducing his HP, which we need, and she'll be AoEing, which, you know, will help trigger her. So we'll see how that goes. Um, we won't bring double crowd though. I think the fact that I'm bringing um, Rem is still kind of annoying to somebody. Oh, so this is what you want to do. This is this is a good um, setup here because down here he has made Chloe, and up here he has Arby. But people only have one Blood Moon Haste, right? You can't just you can't run it in them both. So if you're running a revive somewhere and Blood Moon Haste counters it, well then bring something that counter that you need. Make both your teams get countered by the same thing because then they have to make a decision on where they're going to use it. Um, yeah. I see what we're going to do up here. Uh, up here, oh, I know what I'm going to do. I am going to... Where are you? He's in dark, so he's down here somewhere. We're going to bring, we're going to bring you. Uh, we need to deal with... Um, Arby somehow. I'm gonna bring you. I'm 
We should probably bring some sort of mitigation, huh? Oh, I'm probably just gonna bring, um... Crow. So I swapped Crow. I took him off the... Um, the, uh, what was that? Artifact. How do you guys know what it is? The, um... Symbol of Unity to give him more damage. I, I took him off of that and I put him on the, um... The Adamant Shield. Uh, just cause... There's too much damage running around these days, like that you can't run without it and sometimes I'll pick no knights and then I'll just have crowd there and I'm like well I guess I'm just have to make that sacrifice um but it'll it'll probably swap on and off and depending on how my team compositions end up changing uh, but right now it's a pretty good fit on crowd hmm that looks fine we'll just see what happens no reason to stress out too much okay, so she's gonna go first Question is, yeah, we're not gonna go before um, RB, which is unless, yeah, we're not gonna go before RB. But okay, so he got boosted forward. Is he next? Oh my gosh, he's next. Uh, I want to burn this on. I want to use this on her, on him, but I really do need to make sure I hit him, hit her first, because otherwise we're gonna die. And I crit, which, like, I brought him specifically so he wouldn't crit, but, you know, whatever. Ooh, was he dead? Damn. Man, people are building, like, RB so squishy he just dies on the one shot. Um, I'm gonna eat the apple, uh, and I'll tell you why, because I don't want to miss a crit. Because <laughs> I have 81, like, you know, I only have 81% crit on him. And even with the apple, it's not 100%, but <laughs> we gotta give ourselves the best advantage. So we kind of wasted an S3, but that's fine. It's not that big a deal. So basically, we, we won this because um, we actually won the 50-50. Because every time you bring um, <clears throat> every time you bring this guy here, he's basically a 50-50 on whether or not um, he'll help you win because um, his dodge is only 50-50. So we won the 50-50. Like, like usually you're guaranteed at least one dodge. Like one out of every two is a dodge, right? I mean, it doesn't always work that way, but like you know, theoretically it's one out of every two. So we got attacked twice there, and he dodged both times, so we won the 50-50 in that sense. Um, but yeah. See, the top one I was kind of worried about, but this bottom one I feel like is more s I'm more safe about it. Um, actually, I actually don't know who to attack here. Um, we don't need to heal yet, so I'm just gonna hit her with this. Okay, so here comes this. Okay, she got the counter. Now that I'm thinking about it, yeah, I was about to say, probably bringing haste isn't the best idea because uh, <laughs> she strips the um, the revive buffs. I'm actually doing a lot of damage, and it's because um, I'm used to attacking into knights, right? So I'm used to attacking into people with, like... Aureus and Adamant at the same time, so the fact that neither of these have that is pretty good. So she's gonna miss somebody, and never mind. She didn't have. Does she not have Secret Scythe? That's weird. So how about that 30%, eh? Let's see. Let's just push her forward. Yeah, we'll do this. We'll kill her so that we don't have to worry about reviving anymore and Blood Moon Haste was useless. <laughs> so we'll kill her and not worry about revival. Uh, and then... Um, well, I guess we'll... Yeah, we'll just kill her with this. Never mind. So he wasn't totally useless. I mean, he was going to be useless because I was just going to take... I was just going to Soul Burn with the Rem for the 100% defense break. Um, and then she would have died. Oh, well, I still get to do that anyway. So I guess they were all pretty useful. Let's do this. Defense break into S1.
So that wasn't too bad. I don't know what Kraus saying, he just he won't shut up. Let's go over here. So this is the same thing we saw last time, and I'm probably just going to bring the same thing up here. Down here, we're looking at uh, debuffs. Actually, I think what I should do is, is we'll swap these two. And I got to bring something else up here. Because that crowd basically didn't do anything last time, and that's not, we don't want that. Hmm. Would be a good, um, be good to have here. Uh, we can't bring another, um, no, I know, how about we bring you? Seems like a pretty good idea. Okay, so it's always a crapshoot on whether or not he'll kill her, because sometimes like they build her with more HP and sometimes they build her with less. So we're bringing you. Oh, actually, we can't even bring him down. Bring him down here. But this is safer, I think. Uh, last time we won because he counterattacked twice, and uh, we can't be. You know, you don't really want to be counting on that too much. So, from what it looks like, obviously Violet's not very good here, but I think she'll be. She's good, definitely. He's good. I guess the question is, do we need to bring a cleanser, right? Because we might, yeah, we might not actually need to even bring a cleanser. Because she's going to do whatever, she's going to do whatever. And then she's going to, like, hit us with the, um, the S3. And then we're going to lose the first turn. But it didn't really matter because I wasn't really planning on taking first turn anyway. And just letting them attack me until we're done. Until they're, you know, they basically tire themselves out. So I think what I should bring here, maybe, is, like, you... Right, this doesn't seem like a bad idea. I think she might die from like the damage from these two because she's gonna take an S3 from her and then she's gonna take an S1 from her and I think that might be enough to kill her because she has to take her turn because she's if she's gonna get debuffed by this she's gonna take her turn have to go all the way around and then take her turn again. I guess. Hmm. The salute, the, a solution to that might just be bringing, like, uh, what's her name? Bringing Amelia, right? Because then Amelia can either outspeed her, which I kind of doubt. She's probably at 280 speed or something like that. Um, hopefully she's fast enough to deal with her anyway, though. Or maybe we bring... Let's bring Maid Chloe, I guess. Bring her back to life if she dies. Okay, that doesn't seem too bad. Um... Yeah, let's just get in there. See what happens. So Crow's job is just going to be to kill the um, the Fire Charlotte. Okay, so here's this. So we're not going to outspeed the Arby, I think, this time, which kind of sucks because then. Oh, okay. Well, never mind then. Um, we can't hit anyone, so we're just going to hit you. Okay, so that was not what we, we would have wanted. Yeah, because we're going to get S three'd. Yeah, we needed him to die there so that we could, uh... Because this is bad. It's actually really bad. Yeah, I missed. That's exactly what I didn't want happening. And we're going to take massive damage from this. Oh, and our uh, t turns going to die. Uh, so that was... So I, I really needed to bring uh, Violet there because then Violet could have killed him with the counterattack, but... My... Um... <laughs> My T Siren isn't doing enough damage these days, so I need to see about fixing that. Okay, that's not bad. Oh, she actually. Wow. That's kind of annoying. So basically, yeah. Okay, so the person, she has the, the crystal, whatever, she's gonna heal her off of this, which is pretty good. <sighs> Damn, that hurts. Okay, so we're gonna get a huge heal off of this. Because we have Secret Scythe and um, Life Stealing from the S3. And she gets one shot. Cool. Okay, so that didn't go too bad. Um, the next thing we're gonna do here is. 
We're gonna try to kill you. Unfortunately, she's probably on Holy Sack, which kind of sucks, but whatever. We'll see. Uh, she wasn't. I don't know what she was on then, I guess. You guys can't see this, obviously, but like my neck is twitching. That's crazy. <laughs> like a neck vein twitching. So that first one was like, it could not have gone worse, I think. Fighting against an uh, uh, an LQC is always kind of scary because like she kind of negates like you can't bring any dark units because of her and then like even if you can't even if you go into her like she like you just have to find some way to either kill her or um, like stun her down. What's going on here? So this one basically just means I'm running Violet because Violet will get the CR push from the um, from her. All right, so we're gonna try this again. Uh, he should send that to him, right? Yeah. So he should get the CR push from everyone getting hit by this. Yeah. Yeah, it looks pretty good. Okay. So this time, this one <laughs> should, should it should be guaranteed, right? <laughs> and I said last time in the last Guild War video that I was going to try this, so we're going to try this. Um, we're going to bring our... Where is she? We're going to bring our... We're going to bring a mirror match to this. I want to see how... If we can uh, deal with this. Now, I, I did say, I was like, oh, if you see this, you should bring a mirror match into this. But, like, I realize, obviously, that... Uh, not everyone has, like, all three of these units. I mean, you should have her, and, you know, especially now that she's being run, you should have her. The question is, I mean, do you have these two? And probably not. Um, so let's find out who has the better gear, or who's geared, yeah, who's more uh, who's more appropriately geared, I guess is the way to say it. Oh, actually, he's not going to boost, yeah, he's going to boost up um, him because of that. It doesn't matter, he's actually faster than the than him this time. Uh, again, we're gonna eat the apple so we don't risk not killing this guy. Not that it's that big a deal, but like, may as well. So this team is actually a lot e like, this team is obviously a lot easier to do um, when they don't have Cerise, because Cerise hits everyone uh, effectively. I've been playing a lot of Pokemon, so it's like I wanted. I was about to say super effectively. Of course, I missed the crit. The, I missed the crit there. All right, here goes the other gamble. Let's see if we can kill her. My there we go. My ML Kawazu is on uh, forty four hundred attack. And he's dead. So that would have killed him if I had countered him with a crit. And now she's dead. So as you can see, Violet kind of makes so many teams irrelevant these days. Um, like just him dodging like once or twice is enough. You know that like he doesn't have to dodge every single time, especially like with people building him tankier these days, and especially when like people are building him with um, especially when people po um, let's see. So he kind of had a really nice turn rotation here, so she went first. So let's see how this does. So this is after I had just... Actually, I, I didn't put that on, on camera because I'm, I'm really impatient. Like, I can hold on to my, my bookmarks for a while, but then I get kind of impatient when I'm like, I need to summon right now. So from the last summoning video where I summoned for her, I've been slowly just summoning. Like, as I get bookmarks, I've been summoning for her. So I now have her at double S imprint. Uh, and then I'm not gonna. I'm obviously not gonna pull for the triple S, but I'm thinking I'm just gonna give her one of the slates whenever we get them from the. We get the new refresh, because I don't have any right now. Okay, so we got a pretty good rotation too. Just like the main thing is you want to get the the S3 uh, blocked, like that. Somehow we're we're next already. Uh, we're gonna kill you. <laughs> We're mirroring them. Wow, she did a lot more damage too. I'm not afraid. Um, let's just hit you with this because we're doing the most damage that way. Just follow my lead. Uh, let's see if we can CC her. Okay, so far she resisted that. Does that guarantee that like she's always gonna resist? Not necessarily, but you know, it's not a good sign that she did at least once. Join me. 
And we're not triggering the guiding light, which is fine. So we're gonna take like we're gonna eat this entire thing right now on Landy. So there, there's that. Oh wow, yeah, my um, my Ruel's not doesn't have, not have enough ER for that. Okay, well that sucks. Uh, my S1 needs to be focused on her then, so they can stun lock each other and, and leaves my healing available. Let's see if I get my. Uh, let's see how much damage we do. Okay, of course I missed the crit. Okay, we got my guiding light, which is good. Okay. So right now you need this healing. Well, I'll let her die and then heal her with the S3 because this still heals proportional to yeah max health, right? So it's not going to fill her health bar up. It'll fill hers up more, and then the S3 I'll save it for like the one with the highest health bar to get the most out of the heal. Um, so for right now, we'll, we'll heal you. We'll give you a barrier too. Oh, why couldn't that have been Landy? So they're taking no damage, which is pretty insane. Okay, so she's about to S3, which is fine. She's gonna S3 the the MLCC. Yeah, which is good because now. Ah. Stop not critting, please. Gosh, damn. So I had to build everyone with 100% crit. So there goes my um, stealth, which I just I just got. Um, I probably shouldn't soul burn this. What I should be soul burning is the um, S3 from Landy to get more damage. But we're all kind of needed. We all need a bit of healing here. Come on. So we're kind of, we're losing here because I keep missing crits. That's two crits worth of damage that I just threw away, like, because I don't have enough crit chance. Which is getting on my nerves, but it is what it is. I'll just wait till she, should I wait till she dies? No, I, I can't do that. I'll do it now, and then we'll uh, we'll use the S2 when she comes back around. We'll use the S2 on Landy. So not only so not only um, hmm yeah, she's coming up next. So we're just gonna we're uh, I won't soul burn that. So we're gonna hit her with this, so that when Landy goes, we'll we'll block it. So this is uh, actually really boring. I really need to figure out a better team for this because this is annoying. Uh, we're gonna hit you. She has a so whenever you're in situations like this, you really gotta hit the one with the with the. Um... Okay, so she wasted that. You really want to hit the one with the most uh, with the barrier or with the with the buff, right? In this case, being the barrier. Um, let's hit you. So I've not been able to take this Landy out of stealth like half the time, which is pretty sad. I feel like I should just pause the recording and come back because this is probably really boring. Uh, let's hit him with this. Let's see how much damage I'm doing on this. Okay, that's more like it. She's gonna S1 the uh, her, which is fine. Uh, in this case, I will use this on her. So now that we're going faster and faster, um, I want to cycle her skills so that like she'll have it up again, hopefully by the time we need it. So we need to we need to lock down the the CC, and we uh, we she resisted that, which is good. We need to lock down that CC, um, because she can provoke my Ruel, which is a bad thing. 
And here goes again with the healing. It's a good thing my uh, Landy has so much tankiness. Okay, so we're, we're, we're getting somewhere. We're getting somewhere. I'm going to soul burn this. We're going to S1 there, Landy, and hopefully she'll die. And that's a lot of speed. They're, they're losing speed and damage on that, which is good. So hopefully we crit. Yep, and she's dead. Okay. So the next thing, now we just have to focus on the Ruel because she's about to die. Yeah, the Soul Burn on Landy is, is very powerful. Um, you can either get two S3s back to back, and that's 30% CR boost, or one S3 and then one S1, and then basically it just leads into the second S3 anyway. It's ridiculous. So obviously Ruel's not taking any damage because she has too much defense. Why is it in English? Did I not change it? Yeah, Crow was speaking. Oh, they're, they're speaking Japanese. I always forget that. Ah, she's just gonna heal herself. That's fine. I always forget that, but um, Hermal CC's voice actor isn't in the game for some reason. Uh, let's hit you. Um, I am going to save that for when Landy comes back, so I can just like. Um, protect against her S3. So we're back at, so here we are again, we're back at soul burning this, which is good. Um, yeah, this is how this goes. That, uh, this Ruel is getting on my nerves. I really should have, I, I really should be just dumping as much damage as I can into Ruel, but, um, Ruel is being made tankier because of MLCC, so let's, um, get rid of part of her tankiness you can even tell like I feel like she's taking way more damage now there you go like half a health bar almost so she's gonna revive someone which is fine hopefully it's not the maid uh, the MLCC because without her okay it is her damn it uh, let's just keep dumping damage into you I actually didn't check to see how much HP that um, MLCC has And she's dead, finally. So we're basically one already. We just need to get through this. So she has a lot less HP, and I think she's actually doing damage. I think she's like, not on a not 100% like a bruiser build or anything like that, but like, she's doing more than nothing, which my MLCC is basically doing nothing. There you go. So I get to S3. Now, and next turn, I'll S3 again. So that's cool. I think so anyway, let's see. Do I get the S3? No, I didn't have enough. That's fine. Yeah, so my Landy's at double S. Um, I'm just gonna give her one more um, one more thing for the triple S and you know, we'll be fine. So I guess we, we won this on the fact that we can soul burn basically. I mean, if I had just autoed, I think we probably would have lost. Uh, just because, like, a lot of people, like, that Landy is really heavily built towards um, Guild War, so it does a lot of damage, and it kind of, like, if we were going to lose, that was going to be the only reason why, because she did more damage than ours did. Uh, but mine's kind of built, I mean, it's, it's kind of an excuse, right, but like, mine's more built for RTA, where, like, you need her to be tankier a little bit, and, um, you know, the, the RTA Frenzy will boost your damage up a little more. Uh, of course, like, that only works when you're doing when you're talking about middle ground stuff. So like in RTA, if you're gonna build a, an offensive landy, you need to go like full offense to like try to you know one turn one or two kill them. But mine is more like it's there to be tankier, right? So a lot of people like build her kind of in a middle ground between where mine is in terms of tank and a damage dealing one. They try to build her in the middle between those two things. Um, so they sacrifice some tankiness for more damage, but they don't do enough. You need to really go all the way to the full the full end of the spectrum in RTA anyway. You need to either go all the way to the full spectrum of just high damage or or, or not worry about it too much. And then again, also it kind of comes down to like whether you have the gear to build whatever you want to build. So, you know, that's what it is. 
Uh, so yeah, I'm still working on summoning Bellion. I said I was going to make a video kind of pulling for her once I got enough Mystics, but I really just, I can't be asked to wait. Um, so I'm just pulling them, pulling her as I get Mystic Medals. Um, I'm down to 25. I actually pulled a another shoe <laughs> the other day, yesterday, which kind of sucks, but whatever. Uh, so I pulled, yeah, so 25 more Mystic Summons. I, I should have her before she's gone, theoretically. After this Guild War, that's two, almost two ML Summons. Um, and then I'll probably Secret Shop refresh a bit more and we'll see. But yeah, so that's it for today, and uh, hopefully you guys have a decent guild war and you don't get stomped out too hard. Um, hopefully I remember to change the my top defense here, because again, this is this is not very good, even though somehow we <laughs> we kill, we managed to kill this guy here. Um, but yeah, probably I mean probably my like him killed him or something like that. But you know, uh, so yeah, that's it for today. 